Welcome back to Elden Ring. I was, uh, before I loaded this up, I was remembering where I was at the end of the last episode. I remembered that we're over here in this crazy part of the world, and I just, I know I keep saying this, but holy cow, I just can't get over how big this freaking game is. It is just so big. Looks like we could continue walking this way. Walking over this lava here. Walking over towards whatever this is. I mean, we might as well, right? We're here. Don't know when we'll be back, but it just seems so crazy to me. So crazy. And then we still have more stuff in this direction to look at. We've got this. Look like this big castle here. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. We spoke with uh, Alexander the Jar guy over there at the end of the last episode. Uh, I am wondering if I'm going to find another site to rest at. I mean, there is one... not there. That one's way over there. I'm hoping there's another one. Uh, I'm out of... completely out of FP. No, I'm not. Let's let's go ahead and take this FP here. Just in case. Uh, but I've only got five flasks left. Uh, there's an item over there. Uh, can Torrent run on this stuff? Let's see if Torrent can run on this. I don't know. Torrent's taking a little bit of damage, but it beats the heck out of walking on it. I uh, got some smoldering butterflies there. But yeah, like I said, let's go this way. This way and see what's over here. A huh, little area here with a nice little Michaela's Lily. Interesting little nook back there. Should I be interested in this? No. <laughs> Just a little little area there. Some place to hide if you need to, I guess. I wonder if I could have hid back there during the magma worm fight. Oh. Okay, we got a dude over there. He's noticed me. Uh, that's one of these stupid monkeys. Um, Demo humans? Is that what these are? He's just marching on over here like there's nothing to be afraid. Hey! Oh, Holy cow, 783? Is that how much damage I did to that guy with one swing? Oh, hey, buddy, what's up? 784? My goodness. Okay, we've entered the land of demi-humans here, and I hope I'm remembering what they're called correctly. I think that's what they're called. And then here... Ooh, neat. Oh, look at this. We are looking down... Down, down... Towards... What is this? Castle... Ma Kariah Manor, my bad. Down towards Kariah Manor. That's pretty cool. Whoops. Oh, okay. Over here we've got some structures. Go ahead and grab us some uh, arteria leaf here and some little bit of uh, volcanic rock, volcanic stone. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. We got more of these uh, tombs here. Uh, golden rune six. I mean, it's three runes. Golden rune four, golden rune two. I'll go over here and clear these guys out. I see you, dude. 968? What is up with all this damage I'm doing? Holy mackerel. Oh, nice. Got a flask. That's pretty cool. It's always kind of reassuring. Get yourself another flask just for doing whatever it is you would have been doing anyway. Oops, what was that? More volcanic stone. Oh, another uh, thing here on the tomb. Going rune two. Now, there's not a lot of music playing, but the little bit of it that is playing 
It certainly makes it seem like this is not a good place. Like something bad is going to happen or something bad has happened. Uh, more demi-humans and we've got like a... Uh, one of these statues here. Okay, so there must be a big enemy around here. Like a giant or troll or something like that. Uh, that's going to bust this statue open here. I don't know. Maybe it's that dude there with the club that'll do it. I don't know if he's powerful enough to do it. Hey, you. Come over here. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Okay, well, these jerks over here. Oh, nice, nice swing and miss. Uh, I'm going to try not to kill the big guy because I'm thinking he might be my only chance at uh, breaking through that statue there. So let's see if we can't get him to hit this thing. Come over here, dude. Come here. Come on. Oh, you're so angry. Come over here and swing your big club at this thing. Come on. Show me who's boss. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Jump at me. Come on. Come on. Well, he did it. <laughs> sure didn't break that thing open, though. I didn't think he would be able to, really, but he's the closest thing around here, so... So, yeah, somewhere somewhere else around here is something very big. So, you were of no use to me, sir. Therefore, I dis dispel you or something. I don't know. What is the large thing that's going to break through that statue? What is it? Where is it? Am I going to be able to get it to go down there and do what I want it to do? You got these guys. I think a lot of these dudes hanging out here. Hermit's Shack. Uh, this is not the first Hermit's Shack we've come across, is it? So can more than... One thing in the game, share a name? Hermit's Shack. Hermit's Shack. Uh, we came across another one of these. Man, I want to see way to say, maybe way down here in the Weeping Peninsula, maybe? Mm, well, I don't see. Uh, don't see the same icon. I was isolated at Merchant's Shack. Well, I could be wrong. I thought we saw Hermit's Shack at some point in the game. There's Artist's Shack. All kinds of shacks in this game. Gore Master's Shack, Storm Hill Shack. Shackety Shack Shack. Don't talk back. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Ooh. Roiling Magma. Uh, let's check it out. Hmm. Which one of these is it under here? Uh, Roiling Magma, one of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Gelmir. Fires a lump of condensed magma that explodes a short delay after hitting the target. Or short delay after hitting the target, I don't know. Charging enhances potency and further delays the explosion. After discovering the ancient hexes of Gelmir, Rikard, son of Queen Renala, brought them back into practical use as new forms of sorcery. We need 21 intelligence and we're a long way from that. Although with the buffs and stuff we have, we probably could get there. Okay. Well, little hermit shack here. We still haven't found um, what's going to bust that uh, statue open yet. So maybe it's somebody f or something further up the hill. That's going to do that job for us, so we'll have to keep our eyes open. Anything interesting up here? Or down there? Uh, it doesn't look like it does it. Alright, let's move on up the hill here. I mean, I can't bust that thing open, right? I don't think I can. Whatever is going to do the work, I got to lure him a long way down this hill. Oh. 
Here it is. Come here. Come here, Rune Bear. Come here, Rune Bear. I got some work for you to do. Come here. Come on. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Rune Bear, over here. Rune Bear. Hey, he did it. Okay. Whoops. I want to grab it. Come on. Uh, Smithing Stone 6, 3 of them. Now, oh, don't, don't fall off the edge, dude. Okay. Oh, gosh. Darn it. No. Oh, man. I, I don't want to die. You know, I'm, I'm really not too interested in the dying part of things. Okay. All right, you jerk. Oh, man, that was not much damage. Oh, gosh. Stop it. You stupid bear. Well, I don't think I could outrun him. What? Oh, gosh. Let's see. Why did I go this way? I don't know. Why am I going over here to this shack? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I don't know why I did that. Uh, because I wanted this. Oh. Ouch. Oh, man, of course he drops something, making me go back. Hey! <laughs> Look at that bear over there. He can't come over here. <laughs> he can't get over here, that's funny. Where is he going? So he did his job, he opened that thing up down there. Um... Oh, look at this floating board. So, you know, I'd like to think that, you know, maybe fire will do something to him, right? I mean, he's a bear. He's got hair. Let's see. Let's see if we can throw some fire at him. Uh, part of me thinks of not even, not even bothering. But uh, I don't think he's going to go away. So... I've got to deal with him somehow. Uh, let's see, where did he go? Where did he come from? There he is over there. Oh, damn it. <sighs> what a doof. I meant to take some health and I wasted one of my very valuable fire pots. Man. What a noob. Is he going to come over here? I regret this. Um, I mean, not a lot of damage. Ouch. Dang. In the butt. There we go. In your face. Oh, now this guy's gonna show up. Get out of here, dude. Jerk. Get out of here. Don't you see I'm busy? Ouch. Look what you made me do. Okay, now I'm in trouble because I don't have my health ready. Oh, poop. Dang it. Now I'm gonna die. No! Oh! <laughs> that was pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. Okay, I've got two more pots left. Where is he? Where are you, you stupid jerk? Can I throw that far? That does 726 damage. Too shabby. Knocked a tree down. Bad bear. There we go. Dead bear. 3,415 runes. Uh, flaskage. Hefty beast bone and beast blood. I mean, that's a lot of effort. And, you know, I was talking about how expensive it is. It's expensive because I had to use so many flasks in that fight. Plus, I used a bunch of um, fire pots, which are also kind of expensive, right? Anything over here? Once again, just a magnificent view, looking straight down at what? What are we looking at here? Looking down at Perfumer's Ruins, next to the unsightly catacombs. Okay, I remember that place. Oh, another structure up here. Wait a minute, how many? Oh, okay, so that's a, I didn't even realize. That's a different structure than that one down there. Okay. 
We got one up here. Oh, I hear something. Uh, dung beetle. Ooh, you know what? This, this might be like the first time in the entire game that I actually want one of these. We got three flasks for that. I'll take them, man. I will gladly take them. Let's see if there's anything at this structure. Uh, last time there was a um, dude hiding behind here. Hiding behind the structure. Will there be somebody hiding behind this one as well? Oh, an item. Whoa, I hear something. Yep. Oh, another bear. But he's just the wimpy kind of bear. Nothing to be afraid of. Let's see what we got here. Uh, some gravel stone. No going in there. Okay. Where the heck am I going? Item over here, I want it. What in the world? Uh, we got. Oh, okay, it's just some sheep over there, nothing to be afraid of. What's this? Just a square rock that from over there looked like it had an entrance. <laughs> to me, it looked like there was an entrance there. What in the world? What is this place? Well, look, it keeps going. This is gonna take us all the way up to... Um, trying to remember when I was here. Oh, I got a little bit of rain coming down now. Uh, oh! Rest area. Okay. Item up there. Give us a lily. Pulley crossbow. Okay, so we have a pulley bow and now a pulley crossbow right pulley bow that we've upgraded to plus nine now we've got pulley crossbow crossbow made with pulleys and power springs the complex mechanism which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft was likely made by a certain genius who learned golden order fundamentalism one touch fires a volley of bolts. Be warned, large stores of bolts can be quickly spent. As uh, the kick skill, interesting. Huh. Push an enemy back with a high kick. Effective against enemies who are guarding and can break a foe's stance. Sometimes a simple tool is the most effective. I find that to be a strange skill to uh, have on a crossbow. And I say that because I would think that if you're going to be using a crossbow, you're going to be f try to be far away from your enemy. But I guess if they get close to you, it'd be nice to be able to kick them away. So we found another shack, Craftsman's Shack. I guess we'll go ahead and rest here. So, <sighs> Ashes of War... I don't know if I'll ever understand this business. So this, I put this ash of war on this great hammer, right? And, um, I mean, I found it in this cold section, I guess. So, um, if I pick it, I, I can still choose heavy and it'll still do cold damage because it's a cold weapon to begin with. I don't know. How can you tell it's doing cold damage? But heavy 
would seem to be the way to go since I'm strength build, but is this thing still going to do cold damage? I think. I don't know, man. I'll never understand this stuff. Uh, hmm. Gosh, man. Um, I did not expect this to keep going this far. I really didn't. Uh, hmm. Okay, so here, here's what I'm considering. Um, you know, we, we had spent some time a couple episodes ago upgrading this uh, weapon that I was just looking at, Crate Stars, right? And I can't upgrade it any further until I get more uh, smithing stones, level 5 and level 6, and I have no way of buying those yet. But somebody reminded me of this bell-bearing hunter that was giving me fits a while back. And I thought that maybe I could go back there and try to fight that hunter dude. He's here, right? Is this where he is? Talk it. I don't freaking remember. I think it's here. But anyway, I'm 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 wondering if this is where I would get that bell bearing that allows me to buy those things. I think this is the right place. Okay, so Sheesh. Um, let's just, just let's just spend. Maybe even, it might even take the rest of this episode. I don't know. We are going to try to fight this guy. Uh, I think. So we wait until nightfall. And there's really no fear of losing my runes so long as I remember to um, pick up my runes before I advance time, right? Okay, so this is where he should show up. Now, I want to pay attention to see how much damage I do with each swing of this weapon because I might play around with weapons. Now, this is this is my most upgraded weapon, so it really should be the one that I do the most damage with. So, 300. That's not nearly as much as I would like to do. You know? Hey, bow down before me. But I mean, I feel like... Oh, gosh, I mean... I've already done some work here. He still has a lot of health. And look at the amount of damage he does to me. It's frightening. Jeez, oh, okay, well, now I'm all discombobulated. Oh, okay, now I'm dead. So, 300 per swing. And that's that's one-handed swing. And I, and I feel like I want to use one-handed um, because I, I, I need to kick my shield up against this guy. He does so much damage that I, I you know, I, I need I need the shield, I feel like. So let me grab my runes before I do anything. Okay. And then we will... So I can't put any Ashes of Ore on this weapon. Uh, now, I fully realize that this weapon isn't nearly as upgraded as the one we were just using, but we're going to give it a try anyway. So we'll play around a little bit. We'll see. We'll do some experimentation here. So we're going to pass time until nightfall. This is a little tedious, but this is what you got to do. Okay, and now we do a quick rest. So any 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 guesses on how much damage this is going to do? I'm going to say like 160. That's what I'm going to say. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so here he is. We take a swing. 195. But where's this bleed that I was hoping to get? Oh gosh. Okay, so he's down. We did this with the other weapon, but good lord, look at his health bar. It's massive. Oh gosh. Now see, I felt like I timed that right, but apparently I did not. Oh, okay then. Okay, so 195 is what we did with that. And that's with that weapon uh, with the heavy affinity, I guess? 
So what happens if I change it? I don't know what the hell I'm doing, obviously. Um, so earlier I was talking about this thing having cold on it. This thing doesn't have cold on it. It has bleed on it. Or no, this is a cold. See, I didn't feel like I was doing any cold damage to him. So if I change this to cold, does it do any difference? Ah, oh, crap, I need to rest. Oh, oh, before I do anything, I need to pick up my runes. I'm going to forget. I don't want to forget, though. For obvious reasons. Okay, so let's try this. So, so far, uh, unsurprisingly, the Bloodhound Fang is doing the, has done the most damage. But gosh, it's, it's such a slog. He just so... He has so much health, it just takes so long. So I was kind of hoping for like a magic pill or something, you know, that would really, really show him who's boss. Okay, so 175, so we're doing worse now. But I'm hoping to get some kind of effect on him, you know? Cold or something? Something? Okay, look like look. Okay, so he's steaming a little bit now. So not steaming, but you know what I mean. So I guess he's cold now. So I guess I finally put the cold effect on him. But where's the bleed effect? How come I've never been able to put a bleed effect on him? I thought that's what this weapon did. And and heck, the doesn't the um, the bloodhound's fang also do that? So this here. Again, you know, did even less damage per swing. So let us try different weapon now. Um, I mean, I could try to go back to my big, giant, slow um, Zweihander. This thing's got... just something with heavy affinity on it. it um, attack power. How can I tell if it does any other kind of damage? That's what I want to know. So, if we sit here and I put, like, say, I, I know I had poison on this thing for a while. Can I poison this guy? Oh, I have poison. Okay, we'll put poison on this weapon. So, so I'm putting poison on it, but I'm going to leave it as heavy. So does that mean it's going to do poison anyway? I, I don't know. How can I tell, man? How the hell can I tell? So frustrating. Um, I don't know. So basically what I'm trying to say to you is that I don't know, in case you're really not getting getting my message. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is a much slower weapon, obviously, but I'm hoping that maybe with each hit we'll do more damage. Okay, let's see what happens here. I, I just don't think that I'm going to poison him. Although I do have Poisonous Mist, so... Whoa, 222. Okay, so this one's winning. It is a very slow weapon. Ouch. Oh, is this a little... Ah, uh, darn it. Oh, poo, that sucked. Okay, well, I'm dead. Um, I want to try that again, though. We'll start off, we'll put some poisonous mist on our weapon, and we'll see if we can't poison him while we're swinging at him. This guy's just sitting here. Get my runes back. Go over here and rest again. We're going to put, uh, no, we're going to leave it alone. We're going to pass time until nightfall. 
I mean, yeah, I wanted to try out different weapons and such, ashes and such, to see if I could make any sense out of it, but I don't know. I seriously want to cheese this guy is what I really want to do. Like, I think somebody told me that somehow they managed to get on top of this building. Oh, man. I, I'm telling you, man. It's poison. Oh, gosh. He's already down, so that's pretty cool. timing. Oh, okay. Come on, man. Damn it. Okay. Well, I think that's the furthest we've gotten, right? And he is poisoned, so that's, um, it's maybe a little encouraging, right? Maybe? But still so far away, so far away from killing him. Get our runes back, of course. What else could I do? What a, what other thing can I do here that would help? Um, like, well, I could I could take a flask that which would help beforehand, right? So I could do that, and I'm wondering if I could do something with talismans. So. Yes, it would be nice to get more runes from this guy, but I'm having such a hard time that maybe it would make more sense if I tried to use something else. Maybe something that does uh, more damage, right? Um, faith, intelligence, dexterity, strength. I mean, strength is going to raise my strength to 50, which just it doesn't really boost i mean it boosts my if i'm reading this correctly over here um it boosts my damage output from 442 to 457 that seems so minor to me uh what else could we do boost physical damage negation now this i still do not understand how to read this at all um and I know some of you have tried to explain it to me, but it makes zero sense to me. So I could put this on and greatly boost my physical damage negation, which might be useful. It goes from a 30 to a 39. That sounds good. Right? I mean, it might be worth a try. It might be worth a try. And then we've got immunity, focus, um, vitality, and then... We could enhance our critical hits, maybe, but I'm not really doing any of that kind of stuff against this guy, I don't feel like. Guarding ability? I don't know. Nothing at range. Uh, this is spell stuff. Not using any of this, right? Um, reduces damage. Okay, raises certain different kinds of attacks. Poisoning or rot in vicinity increases attack power. Now, does that include poison on him <laughs> increasing my attack power? <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt that. And honestly, I'm not even sure how I test that. Because um, I really wasn't paying attention to how much damage I was doing to him on each swing. So I'm thinking that really reducing the damage that I'm taking might be helpful okay so we're gonna try that uh did i pick up my runes i did and we're going to uh, pass time again so i hope that i hope this isn't boring to watch um but you know i don't know i, ho I hope that Hanging out here with me and trying these different uh, tactics is somewhat interesting. Ouch. Okay, that wasn't good. Okay, well... Is he 
poisoned yet? He is. So how much damage am I doing? Oh gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, that's annoying. So he is poisoned. Um, I don't think he's going to be poisoned enough to, to kite him, you know, and survive. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Oh, the timing! Okay, I forgot to take my flask, too. I should have taken my flask. Boy, I'm already down to eight flasks? Good lord. This guy's so tough. Okay, it doesn't look like he's poisoned anymore, which is a shame. Well, there goes that. Oh, he's on that rock there. I couldn't get to him. Um, let's see here. Come on, take the swing, dude. Oh, damn it! So freaking annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. I, I, I feel like... It feels like there's a delay in hitting the buttons, and it feels artificially created. Like... Um... I feel like I'm pressing the buttons quickly enough to dodge or block or whatever, but instead he's hitting me. And it just doesn't feel right. It feels it feels like a cheat in a way. Like the game is cheating. Um which I guess is silly, but that's that's I'm just telling you how it feels. Uh so I mean the the the, the damage um reduction that we did there I mean is it really helping um this is maximum HP stamina and equip load I mean do I really need these things to fight this guy should I instead I don't know let's oh no unfortunately that if I take that off it puts me in heavy load so um so I can't take either one of these off it'll put me in heavy load that's a shame well, I guess I really don't need this on me now, do I? Or this. So if we do this, eh, it still puts me in heavy. Load. What if I take this one off? Still puts me... Nope, no, I'm not in heavy load. Okay, so what if... I mean, I don't think this is going to work this way, but let's put this on and see if poisoning him counts as poison in the vicinity. I don't think it will, but we'll see. Okay. All right, have a seat. Stand up. Take our flask of oh so wondrous physic. Go over here. Dude, roll! Oh my god. So if it... I'm not even going to get a chance to hit him again because he's going to throw his sword at me. Oh, for crap. He is poisoned, though. Oh, good god! Oh, okay, see? Like, right then. I, I, I'm telling you, man. I dodged, but um, didn't uh, didn't count. Apparently, didn't count. So I didn't even get the chance to really see if that talisman did anything or not. I don't know, man. I mean, what do I? So far, we found that this weapon does indeed do the most damage. And the cool thing is, I keep picking that. The cool thing is is that I can poison him with it, and it doesn't take very many swings to get to the poisoning. So that's cool. But damn. He just hits so hard and so fast. already. Oh, good God. Okay, so he is he is poisoned now. So and I could just play this lame game and just run away from him. 
and just let the poison chip away at him for a little bit. I wonder how far it'll go. Probably not very far. So you can see it's doing some damage to him still. He's still poisoned. I could hop on... Uh... Okay, so he's no longer poisoned. Okay, now what do I do? Where'd he go? Okay, he's still there. So I want to try to poison him again. I don't like all these obstacles in between us here when I'm trying to hit him. I'm going to go ahead and heal up again. Good God. Come on. Oh, he is poisoned. Well, he's going to hit me, though. Oh, well, something behind me, something behind me. Okay, we survived that, so... He is poisoned again. Oh, gosh! Hitting me right to the building. Okay, so he's... I mean, but look at this. I mean, it's going to take freaking forever. Oh, look at him bashing through there. Okay, still poisoned. This is a lot of work for ultimately ending up dead. <laughs> like the music dies out. Oh! Okay. Well, then I'm dead. Well, we almost got him down halfway. I mean, poison does work on him. Slowly. I just, I just can't seem to stay alive against him. It's just not possible. So what do we do? What do we do? Yep. Let's try something different. Let's try something lame, maybe. Gonna try something different. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Uh, I'm gonna start off by um, taking a physic. Just same same strategy. Starting off with this, we're gonna try to poison him right off. Okay, I think he's poisoned. And now I'm gonna be a big wussy and run away. Oh. I'm going to hop on my horse. And, um... Can I get on top of any of these buildings? Let's see. We got... Here. I'm up here now. Okay, so... <laughs> can he get to me up here? Can he? Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to switch to my uh, pulley bow, if I could find it. Okay. So I found that, and uh, where is he? Where are you, dude? It's so dark out here. Okay, he's down there now. Okay. <laughs> Can he hit me when I'm up here? Can he hit me? I don't know. Can I hit him? I'm, I'm going to think that he can hit me. He's going to get. He's going to get me here in a bit. Boy, I wish I could see. It's so dark. Where is he? Where are you, dude? Dude. Where are you? <laughs> Who the hell is he? I think I see him walking around. He's walking around over there. Uh, is he? That's so smart. He's he's not that smart. He's just not. Uh, hello. I thought I. Okay, I have it on that side. Where is he? Well, he was hanging around over there. Is he gone now? Have I taken too long? And now he's no. It's not a bad amount of damage, really. Uh, I don't think I have any... Ah, crap, I can't craft anything. I don't think I have any poison arrows to use. Uh, no, I... I have some serpent arrows. That's poison, right? Uh, let's try that. <laughs> How long is he going to stick around, though, before he just disappears? Because it's his bedtime. I hear him. 
Where is he? Where are you, dude? I got something special for you now. Where are you, man? Where are you? Okay, there he is. Okay. Okay, he's back. Um... Do anything here. <laughs> the music dies out. Come on. Come around the corner, dude. No, come on. Ah. That ah, crap is too low. Ah, shoot. Oh, darn it. Oh, stupid guy. Ooh, that, that one almost got me, I feel like. Oh, he, he's getting closer to hitting me. Darn it! Oh, what? In the head. Ah. Oh. oh! I still have all 12 of my flasks, though, so... This isn't the worst thing in the world. is um, not really working out the way I hoped it would. just wish I could aim down a little bit more. No, I can't though because I hit the roof. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, I really wanted to try to hit him with this weapon and poison him a little bit. Uh... And I don't know if the, the way the poison works, if you have to, like, hit him a bunch of times in succession, you know, because it wears off. Or what? Where the hell did he go? I think I hear him. Yep, there he is. Okay, so I guess we're going to play this game. Oh, is he going back? Don't go back, dude. I'm not done with you. Come on, shoot it. Uh, still not poisoned. Ah, crap. Um, alright, well, I don't know. Do I just give up and go down there now? That I've got him down. I mean, I guess if I was just patient enough, we'd eventually get to him. But boy, this is tedious, isn't it? I could also maybe try the, um... The, um torrent game, you know? Whereas I, I hop or I hop on torrent and try to fight him that way. But I feel like I've I mean, I've got the high ground here, you know? I and mean, that's, that's basic tactics 101 right there. I am the worst! I am the worst! Oh! that work. Yeah, talk on it. I, I, I just, I can't believe how much trouble this guy gives me. Because, I mean, I have just been mowing through everything for such a long time. It's just, I don't want to say it's humbling, because it's not. It's just annoying. There's nothing fun about it. Where's my... Right? There's nothing fun about this. Um... Yeah... I, uh, I feel like this weapon is my best hope. Um, I mean, there was a time when I was using the, um, the fang and using that quick step thing. Uh, but I just don't think that, I mean, I've tried it and it didn't work before, so I really don't know why it would work now. thing I do want to do though is if we're if we're trying to use every little this isn't doing anything for me so um what could I use instead that would help enhance this critical hits I mean do I get critical hits with this weapon I don't know it's another thing I've never understood critical hits I don't know it's just a roll of the dice isn't it
that's a good amount of damage right there, right? Oh, and I'm dead. Okay. So, yeah, you know, I was trying to do my quick step thing or whatever, and... I don't know. Dude was like, nah, I don't feel like doing that right now. I did it once, but uh, not anymore after that, so... I don't know, man. It's just frustrating. It's just... Oh, so frustrating. Why can't I beat this guy? Why, oh, why? How many times am I going to try this? I also wonder... Um, can I put a helmet on? Still leaves me in medium load, so that'll help some. much of a difference, though. Come on now, get up. Come on, dude, do Oh, damn it! See, that... Ah. I don't know why he didn't do it. And by it, I mean the second half of the quick step. He didn't do it. Oh, good God. That is the most annoying thing ever. Hitting me through a building. Um. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, um. So, I wanted to... Get some health. I wanted to... Take some tears here so that I could quick step again. Okay, so that isn't gonna work. Oh gosh. Okay, get off the horse, dude. Get off the horse. There you go. I knew you could do it. You couldn't hit me through the freaking building. Damn it! Fall off a cliff. Come on. Ah. Okay, see, I didn't do it that time either. I don't understand why. I don't get it. Oh, Loney. Get up. Oh, God, that freaking delay. Oh, well, I'm dead. I mean, look at the flasks I'm going through. It's ridiculous. Oh, stupid rock! Come on! There we... I don't know. Eh, hell. Okay, whatever. Oh, stuck on that little freaking rock there. Come on, do it! Okay, I don't know what's going on, but my guy isn't doing the, the finesse thing anymore. I don't know why. I can't seem to get him to do it anymore. Damn it. Well, he's going to throw it at me now. This is I'm out of flasks. Gosh, the delay. Come on, dude. Well, all right. Okay. Well, this is the closest we've come. Unfortunately, I'm out of... Um, out of uh, health here. Get up there, dude. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, get up there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I, I must have removed my uh, thing here. Um, gosh, I mean, trying to hit him with this bow is so tedious. 
quite sure it's going to put me in heavy load, but that's okay. I'm on top of this building, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, boy, it gets so dark on top of this building. So where did he go? Where did he go? Don't see you, dude. Gosh, it is so dark. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Can't see him. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. He's poisoned, so I guess we could just hope that uh, maybe that's enough poison to kill him. I don't think it will be, but maybe, maybe we can uh, finish him. Oh my gosh, look, 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 look. His health is dwindling. It's dwindling. His health is dwindling. Still dwindling. Oh. Oh. Still dwindling. Oh, he's got a sliver. He's got a little sliver. Come on, finish him off. Finish him off. Yes. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. Gravity stone peddler's bell bearing. I will take it. I mean, that was legit, right? I mean, I fought him and then, you know. Then when I was almost dead, I ran away from him and used a different tactic. Nothing wrong with that, right? I'm going to go ahead and rest. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, I did it, man. I finally freaking did it. Okay, we got a fair amount of... Uh, fair amount of runage for that. All right, let's go back and give this to the ladies and see if we can now indeed buy the things that I'm hoping we'll be able to buy after all that. Let's go see. Got something for you, ladies. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do it, I want to read about it. Hold on. See if there's anything interesting about it. Ooh. Let's see. Is it a key item, I guess, right? Oh, I still have this bell bearing I forgot about, too. Okay, so this somber stone one, I'm pretty sure we already read that one, yeah. So this one says, Bell bearing of an unfortunate gravity stone peddler who was slain by the bell bearing hunter. Well, son of a bitch, this doesn't even give me what I want. Offered to the twin maiden husks as the round table hold to gain access to the following items. Gravity stone fan and gravity stone chunk. Who cares? All that work for that? I don't care about this crap. I'm just very angry. Here, take that. Here, take that. Well. Super lame. Super lame. Well, now I'm angry. <laughs> Just annoyed now. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we will continue on. Hope you had a good time. And um, I hope I see you again in the next episode.